Hola, this is Diane at Sun and Dreams, Soli Sueños, Costa Rica. Basically, I am here to teach you how to oil paint. So, way back when, maybe 10 years ago, um, I made a deal with the universe or with myself that any time I was given a sign by what I like to call the universe or the world before me, I would follow it because that way I was led by my experience, led by the world, led by whatever agreement that such I had made. So as it unfolded, I made a pact to do it. So I got the message to paint and oil paint in it. I've I've found since then, oftentimes I tell people, try oil painting, it really feels good. Try oil painting. I don't know how to paint is what I hear all the time. Well, way back, even way back then, when I first got that message to paint, I hopped in my, in my car, I drove to the, um, you know, the hobby store, and I got a kit of oils, and so now I'm here in Costa Rica at our guest house and I'm finding new in new ways to do art because you know I don't have all my supplies so I treat it myself. It's very important to put your art in yourself first. So um I had uh, art date and went to the art supply store and picked out all the colors that made me happy. I have some different things. I don't know about about you guys, but I don't know exactly what to do about brushes. Right now I've been keeping my oil brushes in um, vegetable oil. So if there's any better suggestions for that, please let me know. I grabbed one of these. This is a great way to make yourself feel like a professional Art, um, oil painting artists a little so to paint it's literally as easy as getting a brush really you want you're gonna start with a clean one right grab a brush any brush feel all the brush tips find one that you like the way it feels my favorite brush is this big one which is already dirty but I'm gonna use it anyway and then Feel your colors and pick them out. And I would say just grab maybe three or maybe five colors or so. So I just grabbed some more colors. I have a, I did a tracing. I, I don't usually trace. I like to just be flow driven. But I found if I give myself an outline, it helps my flow really focus in the direction that I want, that I'm consciously creating. So, I used to think it was cheating, but there's nothing wrong with that, I suppose. So then you just grab the colors you want on your brush and put it on the canvas. Wow, can you guys see that? Barely. Let me put it on down here a little bit more. There, my canvas was wobbling. I found that when there's something that's causing a problem, it's good to just stop, check out the situation, see if there's a quick and easy way to correct it, such as this. I literally just had to move that out. And so I'm just freely picking colors I want and putting them on here.
And then you just paint as you will. Letting the colors guide you. Feeling whatever feels. I've noticed that sometimes people just don't want to create because it requires a certain amount of slowing down that causes emotions to bumble, bubble and rumble. And so sometimes it's just a choice to just be numb. And so this is all about opening ourselves up into what we want being more I'm not sure I found that everyone everyone I've ever met and everyone I've ever known has this inner brightness. When I get to know them, I see this sparkle, this about them, this glow in them, right? See this inner glow everyone has. And Somehow, I found myself in a position, situation where my inner glow, I had guarded and protected away. And then when I found, when I was protected and guarded, all I could see is more reasons to be protected and guarded all around me. There's proof everywhere. Danger, danger, danger and badness. And it just is all I could see. It's all that went out. It's all that came back. And it was kind of like the swirling of it all around me. And it was curled up in a ball on the bathroom floor. And that was me. My brightness was so dimmed. I couldn't even remember that light existed at all, much less that it was me. Sounds like a dairy dark tale. Need to get out the medieval nights to build walls and protect us. Right? That's what it is. I can't move and I'm stuck and I can't go anywhere but I'm protected. And I'm safe. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yeah. Yay. We get to stay like this forever. Safe. And then it kind of started with a breeze, like breeze on my face. And then... You know, a fly tip on my nose, a whisper in my ear, the smell of the delicious flowers, the 
citrus fruit. And all of a sudden, looking around me, these trees, they grow new leaves every single day. There's this bright sun everywhere, shining. Comes up every single morning, no fail. One of my favorite quotes about the sun is, um, the sun shines on everyone. It doesn't make choices. And that's one of the mottos I like to live my life by. And so there was all this beauty that always was there, growing and flourishing. And so individual on its own and so perfectly put together in combination. You know, we moved to Costa Rica thinking we were moving to the tropics, moving to a more steady climate to help me get better from my medical conditions. And, you know, we, what we found was so much richer. We couldn't even see it when we came here because we were so in this lock. We didn't even notice we got removed from this and put somewhere where we were surrounded by all this beauty and life. And natural life supports itself over and over again. We feel supported by the earth, the light in our eyes. And these angels show up in our lives and they're like, hey, look at that. That's amazing. Hey, you're amazing. You did this? Wow. You know? And then all of a sudden we start thinking, hmm. Just a teardrop thought. It is amazing here. The land is calm and safe. Breathe in and out. I breathe in the beauty. I, I breathe in the calm. I breathe out into relaxation. Did you hear that bird? 
am so delighted by the magic of the nature that surrounds me at all times. start to exhale. I breathe in. I feel something. And a desire. A dream I never knew existed in me. It just starts as a twinkle. A little twinkle. to explore, explore all around me and I start to feel more and more filled and I get scared and I remember to feel that safety around me and then something happens and I get erupted it's my core. So I'm coming out as I'm blooming. The north winds blow too hard. I tremble. And then an angel whispers. Stand up. Only you, only you can stand yourself up into your joy. The darkness cannot exist where there is light. You know you are the light, right? Let it shine. Let it shine. Share. Share as you are right now. Perfect. Right now, you hold the perfect experience that only you hold and only you can share it in the way in which you can share it right now. Think about that for a minute. And you feel safe. Start creating those dreams, expanding and exploring them. beaming them as they explode out into the world around you. And then the feedback comes back to you, coming back and filling you, delighting you. As you delight the world around you, it delights you right back. We are so grateful for these experiences, for this now. This is an amazing magic of nature. Thank you for following. This is Diane, Sun and Dreams. Thanks for following. Bye now.